I'll start running this off on the production line. Yeah, there might be, I think from the interest that I've seen here today, there'd be a lot of buyers. Boy, I would. I'd put Eugene's money down on it, and I don't have to spend my own. Eugene's got a lot of money. He does. He was telling me about the IRS. Oh, I better not say that, the <laughs> IRS. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being on Driveway Talk, you. sir. Thank and, you very uh, much. It's a pleasure talking to you. I've talked to you on the phone before, and uh, so uh, thank you for being on Driveway Talk. See you down the road. Let's go around and play some music for you folks, so uh, just hold tight, and we'll be right back. in front of a display here. Who are you, sir? Jim Sampton with Greek's Pro Shop in Spring Lake Park. Hi, Jim. I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Truck. Who are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Cassie Simonton. Who? Cassie Simonton. Cassie. Cassie? Cassie. Cassie. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad to meet you. And uh, what, do, what do you have here? Is this, uh, this is your car? Or? Yes, this is my car. Oh. This is a junior dragster made for, um, it's a program for kids from 8 to 16 to be able to get into drag racing with their families. So you drag race in these cars? Yes, where I do. do. You, where do you race at, in the Twin Cities? Yeah, um, we've raced up at Brainerd and down in Iowa, all over the country. Wow. Can I ask your age? 16. So uh, how long have you been doing this? Um, this is my eighth year. Wow. Eighth year? Mm-hmm. Boy, these kids, I'm telling you, <laughs> they got guts. <laughs> It's, it's been a real fun program. It gets the whole family involved, and uh, we started out when she was eight years old, and now she's ready to go into a top elk all dragster over 200 miles an hour this year. That is neat. Thank you. Uh, so how big an engine's in here? Um, this is a five-horse Briggs. It's modeled after a five-horse Briggs, making about 40 horse. Um, the car runs 778 at 83.9 miles an hour in the eighth mile, which is oh. 660 feet. That's neat. I love that. So is this the only one you have? Um, no, we've built many other ones for other kids. Um, there's probably 40, 50 at Brainerd on a regular weekend there, and Good. somewhere's uh, around four to 5,000 nationwide. And wow. So if some young girl or boy wants to get involved in this, uh, do you have a, a, a phone number and a website they can call? Yeah, we, uh, it's at greeksproshot.com. Um, we all, our phone number is 763-786-0638. Uh, we build everything from scratch, all certified through NHRA. Uh, 
it's fairly cheap to get into. Your initial investment's a little high, and after that, it's it's a real fun program. Sure, I bet it is. So are all your girlfriends doing this, or not all of them? Uh, not all of them. There is a lot of girls in the sport, though, I have. That's great. I think that is so neat. They're not sitting around knitting and sewing. No. <laughs> they're right there with the men, aren't they? Yes, we are. Oh, darn it. I know they're racing bikes around here and everything else, so have it, you ever been hurt? Nope, never been in an accident. No. You worry about her? No. This this sport is probably the safest sport out there. Um, with all the safety equipment that the kids have to wear, there's no chance of them getting hurt. But she's going 83 miles an hour in this. Ah, she she can handle it. Well, <laughs> well, that's great. Well, we just wanted to say hi and uh, talk to you on driveway talk and thank you for thank you on very the show. much. Thank you. Dear. Thank you. Wonderful. See you down the road. Well, here we are in front of a nice truck. Uh, who are you, sir? My name is Bill Jacobson. Bill, I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Talk. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Who are you? Jamie Jacobson. Jamie? Yep. Okay, uh, what year's your truck here? It's a 1995. 95 what? Yep, Chevy S10. Chevy S10. Yep. What's under the hood? It's got a 383 Chevy small block in there. 383. Yep. Well, I bet you this thing moves out. Yeah, it runs about 1170s at 115 in the quarter mile. Uh, where, where have you raced at, Minnesota? Um, yep, we actually go up to Brainerd a lot, and then we've also been to Rock Falls, Wisconsin, and down in Iowa also. Oh, sure. Yep. Uh, sure. Uh, now, did you buy this new? Actually, we just bought it just last year. It was old. It was a used one, so. <laughs> and then you've been building it up? And yep, we actually took it into the garage in October, and then we brought it out in April. My dad did all the work on it himself. Wow. That's great. Yep. I bet you it's fun to drive. You get a lot of looks, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's very fun to drive. <laughs> you get no tickets over there. No. Oh. Well, do you have any other projects or any other cars at home? Or? We actually just bought a 1997 Chevy S10. Oh, you did? And it's a regular cab that we're going to be building to run nationals and divisionals with. Oh, so wow. we're really excited about that. <laughs> Build those babies up. Yep. <laughs> kind of in the old uh, 40s and 50s cars, but it's, it's fun to... Right to uh, talk to people with this new stuff and uh, motorcycles and everything. You know, yep. uh, everybody's got their hobbies and interests. What a scoop on that hood. My goodness. <laughs> That's a fiberglass hood, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right. Well, how can you see out the window there? Oh, it's not that bad when you're in the driver's seat. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we just wanted to say hi to you and, oh, and uh, you talk about much. your car a little bit. <laughs> yeah. and, so thank you for being on driveway oh, truck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, here we are in front of a beautiful car. Who are you, sir? My name is Dan Ehrman. Hi, Dan. I'm Ron Anderson with Driveway Talk, and uh, Eugene is our camera person. And what is this, an Auburn? Yes, this is a 2003 Auburn. Uh -huh. But it, uh, when did they make these, in the 30s? They made them in the 30s from about uh, early 30s to about 1941. Mm -hmm. It was made along with uh, the sister car was a Court. Oh, yeah, in Indiana, I believe. That's correct, yeah. Auburn, Indiana. Right. This is a beautiful color scheme, black and silver. Yes, it is. Uh, actually, uh, these particular cars uh, can be painted any color you wish. Sure. The uh, dealership in uh, uh, Clearwater, Florida, that actually builds them, mm -hmm. and they're sold locally here through an Auburn dealer. Wow. And uh, this particular vehicle is uh, VIN number 00001 wow. for 2003. And it is a brand new car. It is a factory built vehicle. It's not a kit car. Wow, it comes with a warranty. Yes, it does. <laughs> what's, uh, what's under the hood? Well, this particular vehicle has a 5.7. 5.7? 350 Chevy engine in it. Wow. Gorgeous. It's a 350, 350 horsepower. It's got a uh, uh, Chevrolet 5 speed electronic transmission. It has rack and pinion steering built by Auburn. And it has a four nine inch quick change rear end. Mm -hmm. You know, we did a show uh, from the Imperial Palace uh, uh, two or three years back and filmed all the Duesenbergs. And I get a lot of response off that show. Oh, yeah. Uh, those Duesenbergs and Auburns. And I do have a good friend uh, who used to film with us for a while. Uh, Lee Turtelot has an Auburn, a uh, red one. And uh, boy, he gets every time we go to a car show or something, they, the people flock around it. Oh, yeah. These are these are very beautiful cars. They're very classy cars. Right. And the vehicle, for all intents and purposes, is a hot rod. Yeah. It is a hot rod. But instead of putting a Model A body on it or a 40 Ford body, sure. they decided to put a very beautiful 19 uh, 30 vintage Auburn body on it. 
Now, what does this have, a fold-down top? Yes, the, behind the seat there is a uh, fold-down top. Oh, I see, yeah. And, it just, and that's black and it folds right up? Yes, it's black, it just folds up. It's all done by hand, uh, as you can see. These uh, there's clips right here. There's not an there's it's not an electric uh, top. It's a, it's a hand top. The vehicle is close as as practical to the 1933 Auburn sure. in every respect. With updated features and uh, now uh, when you roll the window up, does it have a window frame on it or? It has power windows. Yeah, but when you put the top up, is there like a window frame that comes down or? Uh... No, the the window frame is actually built right into the top. Oh, so when the I window see. comes up, okay. it seals it. The old uh, original Auburns actually had plastic windows that you snap in, right. but these have power windows. Beautiful, beautiful car. Well, we just uh, wanted to say uh, hi, and uh, we admired your car, and we actually, this is, we did three shows here today at World of Wheels, and we filmed it earlier, so I think you're also on show one. So uh, anyway. Wow, beautiful doors. Geez, it, it sounds so nice, too, when you open that door. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a very solid vehicle. The interior is, uh, uh, it has a leather interior. The vehicle has power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, tilt steering wheel, uh, AM, FM, CD. It has power windows. It has power seats, and you can get them with heated seats. Oh, wow. So it has all the options that the ladies would like, and it's very yeah. nice and simple to drive. And when you're driving down the road, Everyone stops and looks at you. Right. True spoke wire wheels. Oh yeah, these are specially built wheels. Even the tires are specially built. If you take a look at them, you'll see there's no name on the tire. Wow. There's no air pressure. There's no size. That's all on the inside. Every wow. part of this car, except for the engine, transmission, and rear end, is hand built. This is hand laden fiberglass, and each one of the uh, chrome parts that you see are forged strictly for our vehicles. Sure. This is not uh, uh, a kit car. If you wanted to buy a part for it, we have a complete, uh, obvious, full range of parts for the parts department. Sure. Because it is a new car and parts are ever, ever now, available for it. Now, somebody watching this show, if they're interested in this car, where do they come to look at it? Well, there's a dealership opening up in uh, Blaine. Oh, there is. And there's also an Auburn dealership in Stillwater. Oh, there is. And these are the first two Auburn dealerships uh, open in the world since 1941. Wow. And we got them right here in this area. Right here in this area, absolutely. They're going to build 75 of these this year, yeah. and uh, hopefully they'll build a couple hundred for the following year. And uh, most they're ever going to really build is uh, less than 500 because they don't have to uh, crash them into walls and they don't right. have to deal with uh, all the uh, pollution sure. control devices. We're going to try and get Eugene to pick one up before he leaves this show. Well, that'd be perfect. Yeah, we have financing and leasing available. Good. Eugene, you're, this is going to be your car and I'm going to ride it with you. Well, you'd never have to buy another car. <laughs> well, sir. Yeah. Sir, thank you very much thank for you. being on Driveway Talk. Appreciate and, it. And uh, appreciate it. Uh, we'll see it on the road. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, we stopped in front of this Merc. Who are you, sir? Ron Christensen, sir. Ron? Ron Christensen. I'm, I'm Ron Anderson. Glad well, to meet how you. How about that, Ron? A good name. And Eugene's our camera person. And hey. what year's your, what year's your Mercury? 1951 Mercury. Uh, what's under the hood? It's the original flathead under there. It's with an Edelbrock intake on it. It's as stock as I want to keep it. Right. I, they're they're all beautiful. I love Merc. Absolutely. Uh, so now you've got the. Uh, the uh, clicker doors uh, on here. You yeah, removed absolutely. Your door is the clicker doors. That's right. And what else? Custom taillights or anything? Custom. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I bought it just like this. I was very fortunate. You know, you can buy them for half the price of doing them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Absolutely. I know what it costs to redo a car. Uh, so you got the teeth. It's beautiful. Uh, what, what do you got in here for a tranny? It's got the original three-speed in it, oh, but the best thing it's got about it is the overdrive unit. I and tell you. It's, and it works good? Oh, you're going down the highway about 45 and you push that thing, you can put it right up to 70 and cruise along. Because wow. it's got the original suspension, original yeah. motor, and I go down the highway. Maybe 70 might be pushing it, probably sure. 65. But it runs really good. Where do you, where do you live in the Twin Cities? Right, right in Roseville. Oh, Roseville. Yep. Wow. And I don't get to as many shows as I'd like to, but I'm going to try to get to more well, of them. you know, you do get uh, driveway talk there. Oh, really? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So, uh, now you're going to be on it. Uh, okay. Anyway, are you in any car clubs? I belong to the Antique Car Club of America. Oh, you do? Yep. And also the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, because they only got two wheels, but they're fun, too. Oh, sure they are. Yep. Yeah, we've talked to some motorcycle people here today. Yep. 
Absolutely. Do you have any other cars or is this the only one? No, I've got a lot of them. I'm a okay. Ford guy, as you can tell. Sure. I've got a, I got about a dozen of them. Oh, wow. This is my first custom. Everything else I own is a muscle car from uh, 1964 on up. All Fords. Well, actually, I got a 1926 Ford truck now, too. So oh, you do? Wow. I'm getting into the older stuff. See, I've gone fast long enough. Now I want to go slow. Yeah, well, that's our motto, low and slow. That's right, exactly. So, uh, but I've always loved the Mercs. They're the first place in my heart. And I've yep. had a few 49 to 51 Mercs. Uh, yep. Uh, well, we just wanted to say hi. and uh, I really appreciate you stopping by. Well, well, it's fun for us because... Uh, Most importantly, tell the people to get their cars out of the garage. You know? Drive them. Oh, my. I, there's, I meet so many people that haven't had their cars out in years yeah. they just just get them out and bring them to the shows you know now, so many nice cars out there have you been in the world of wheel show before i haven't been in this show for about four years and i said i gotta come back sure yep. do you remember uh the old shows are, are you old enough to remember the autorama shows i remember the autorama i've got some stickers on a couple of my cars yeah yeah well i'm 56 and when i was a kid that's uh that's what we looked for was the autorama shows and uh, remember when uh, we, you were small and they had a new car come out and it was very secret and they had the windows uh, closed it's, off? And it's totally, I mean, back then it was excitement and your dad, you didn't plan anything around that weekend. They had all the drapes up there. It was exciting. Now there's a brand new car each month and it's just, I think they've lost the whole thing. I think they really have. I remember being going down, to, I think, for the 56 Cadillac at Warren Cadillac and uh -huh. Dunwoody Inn. That's right. Oh, it was such a big thing, and they had searchlights and everything, you know, unveiling the new uh, 56 model. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's kind of, I mean, every month they got a new 2000, I mean, they got 2004 models out now and stuff like that, and it's not even done with this yeah. yet. It's just, I, I, I think they've lost a little bit of the excitement and borne the public with it. I do too. Well, Ron, we just wanted to say hi to well, you. I, it's a, I, I just love to chat with people. Okay. Thank great. you very much for being on Driveway Absolutely. Talk. And we'll see you down the road. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, uh, that's another episode of Driveway Talk, and uh, you squandered away another perfectly good half hour watching this show. Thank you, Eugene, and thank you, Cindy, our timekeeper and grip person, and uh, tune in again for Driveway Talk. And uh, we'll see you down the road.